A project like this one consists of several pages and what we looked into were some of the symbols and the, the drawing headers as well. But you might also have some lists in the project and uh, if I'm going to add a list to, to this project here I could add a parts list and uh, then I could select a, a parts list and um, a template with a parts list on or I could go in and add a components list uh, a page with a components list on and uh, that would be it. But if I go in here then you can see I have this list grid here and this list grid is also a symbol and um, it's a list symbol and what it contains it's up to you. But um, I'll simply show you how you can make your own uh, one and, uh, and make it uh, look more or less like this one. First, I want to show you that um, it's selected here in page data. Actually, it's very related to the video with the drawing headers because I have my primary header, which is uh, the frame uh, around this uh, page here, which is yeah, my primary header, and then I have my secondary header, which is uh, the 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 list um, uh, symbol here, which is called PCS Comp One in in this uh, case here, and then I can select or deselect, and uh, you can see it's simply uh, what the list consists of that uh, is my, my list symbol. And how you make that one, uh, I will go in and, and, and show you, and I think that was the wrong one, but never mind. If I go in here and look again in my uh, folder called headers, then I have uh, different um, um, dif different um, uh, list headers here. and um, I will show you how you can make them and the rules for them. If we take uh, the component list and um, I'll take this one here, edit symbol, then I have my component list here and as you can see it also consists of a lot of lines, there are lines here which make up the grid and uh, then I have some data fields here line designation, name quantity, total quantity, etc. Different kinds of, um, of data fields put together in, in an order that uh, yeah, wh whoever wants to, to know but uh, you, they are made up here. There are two rules, for, three rules for, 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 for making a list like this one. First of all, all the data fields that I have here, when I insert my data fields you have to know what kind of list are you making because you can add from this section up here with project data, page data and the symbol data fields. They can be added to any list symbol that you're going to make. But from the bottom here, if you're going to make a components list and this one is a components list, then I can also select uh, data fields from this part here. Then in here, and it's uh, going out uh, at the bottom of the page, but never mind. I have a lot of database data fields here, but I also have a lot of, and you cannot see them all, but I can drag it up a little bit, and then you can see that I also have a lot of data in here uh, that are related to the components that I have in the project. We make it uh, in a simple way that all the ones uh, written here with capital letters, the data fields written with capital letters, they come from the database, whereas the one written with small types here come from the project. And when I make, and I'll just put it down here a little bit again, drag it down here, when I make a, a list like this, it's a combination of data fields from the project and data fields from my database. Something like manufacture, for instance, is a data field that comes only in the database because I don't have anything on the symbol in which I could type in manufacture. I could make that course but uh, as default I, I don't have that. But type and article number I have that. I could also add uh, quantities and names and everything and that's what it consists of. So rule number one select the data fields that you want to have for each component. And 
when you selected the the, the line the, the the data that you would have for one component you place them in a line just like here in a line in a row and they are they all here and now I can select them to show that all those data fields here they are only concerning one component that's what you should do too so when you have them here they must be aligned and uh, by aligning I mean simply that mark them all and align and uh, and say that they must be aligned that's second rule the third rule is that the very first data field must have the property called activate next and you can use any data field for this in in this uh, list symbol here I have a data field called line I could also have had it on, on, on this one, whatever, but the first data field on each component or in each set of data must have activate next. That's rule number three. So rule number one, when you select your data fields, you can have them from this uh, section here and then you have list specific data fields in the second section. Rule number one. Rule number two, all data fields per set must be aligned and rule number three the first in each row must have this function or property called activate next and when you make this list the easiest way I think anyway is to make one set align it and give it the right properties and then simply copy uh, go in copy and use uh, the arrows to um, to place them there and that's how you make a list symbol like this one and this one was a component list so when I save it I go in and say save as and then I give it a title that uh, tells me what kind of, uh, of uh, data does, does this one contain and again when I save it this one is also of a simple time called normal so uh, this is what you um, need to know to make your own uh, components list.